So hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be going over my journey, how I learned how to code. So if you're new around here, my name is Ryan Siddiqui. I work at Microsoft. And in today's video, I'll be going over how I learned how to code. So my journey actually started as a graphic designer. So initially, I used to do a lot of Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator work. I actually worked as a graphic designer in a real estate company. So my initial interests, like my initial tech usage was in graphic design. Designing was all I knew. So I used to make logos and then social media posts for different companies. And then that initial interest in designing then led me into web designing. So I actually saw, or someone in my family actually saw an online ad for a web designing course and then they recommended it to me and then I took it. So that was my first exposure with web designing. So I learned like basic HTML, CSS. I used to design like all sorts of different web pages, all sorts of like different CSS related stuff. And then that interest in that initial exposure to web designing then grew my interest into development, into website development. So then from web designing, I went into web development. So some like backend web development stuff. So started learning about my um, uh, SQL, PHP, some of the server side backend stuff. And that was like the real initial exposure I got to any type of development that you do, which was web development for me. And so my initial interest, like going from um, um, graphic designing to then web development, web designing, that expanded further into mobile app development, which now have come to be my specialty. So this is something that I've worked in for now for over six, seven years now in just app development. So after I got more experience with web development, I then went into mobile app development. So then I moved into app development. Now with app development, I followed an online course by a website called Shaw Academy. And um, this is something I, I don't think Shaw Academy now exists anymore. I think they rebranded their name and everything. But this is how I learned how to uh, make mobile apps. So I initially started with native app development. So native app development is where you develop a mobile app specifically for a platform. So one app for Android, one app for iOS, both in different languages. And then I later down the road, I also learned hybrid app development, which is you have one application that runs on different cross platform or different um, um, platforms sorry, at the same time. So, so from graphic designing, I went into web designing, web development. Then I transitioned into app development. So I did native app development in Android specifically. So I uh, focused on Android at the time. The only reason why I chose Android over iOS at the time was I didn't have a Mac device to do any type of iOS development. So that was the only reason why I chose um, Android initially to learn uh, web development in. So as I started learning Android app development, I decided I started making a lot of different mobile apps, a lot of projects, like I dedicated a lot of my summers, a lot of my free time after school, just making a mobile apps. So a lot of projects. And then later down the road, there was a developer certification by Google called the Google Associate Android Developer Certification. So when I turned 13 years old, I gave that certification and become the youngest certified Android app developer in the world. So that moment in my life was a genuine inspirational moment for me like where I really thought okay like I could have a career in tech like this is something that I really really want to do because I've been able to achieve uh, at that time something which meant a lot to me was becoming the youngest Android developer certified Android app developer in the world so that was something that meant a lot to me to my family as well at that time like just getting recognition for that so that actually led me into pursuing this tech adventure more seriously. So after that, I transitioned into iOS app development. So from this time on, I've learned, you know, graphic designing, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, some backend languages like PHP. And then now with Android app development, I've learned Java, Android app development mostly done, done in Java. So at this time when I started, there was no Kotlin, um, just pure Java and XML. And then after that, I went into iOS, which was main, uh, mainly in Swift. Swift and Objective-C. And then after this, I started going into hybrid app development. So I picked up the React Native, the cross-platform framework, where I started um, going back into you know, you know, some of my web development knowledge and then using that to create cross-platform apps, apps that could run on Android and iOS. So at this point, when I started learning about React Native development, which wasn't super hard to pick up because I've um, experienced with web development before, this was the time in my like in my academic career, you would, or not academic career, in my educational path, you would say, and in my educational journey where I was, that I was about to enter university 
So I could apply into a, a lot of different internships, a lot of different job opportunity programs. So at this time when I'm learning about React Native, at this time I've created so many, like almost over a hundred projects, some of which I've published online and some of them have done pretty well online. And it was this accumulation of projects, this accumulation of experience that made me confident in myself that I could pursue an industry level job. Now, this is something for me that was a bit unique, non-traditional kind of, because I finished high school early and then transitioning into university, I felt I was confident that I could handle an industry level position at a tech company. Now, this came about a bit differently for me. I've made a lot of connections with different industry people during my time in high school, which helped me secure a placement at Microsoft, where I currently work. So as I transitioned into university, I started learning about other languages as well, C++, C Sharp, C, and those are some of the languages that I'm currently learning. But in my experience so far, some of the languages that I've spent so much time with, JavaScript, Java, Kotlin, Swift. Those four essentially I've spent the most time in with native, hybrid and web development. So this was a super quick recap of my journey, how I got into tech, like how I started learning about coding, what languages I learned. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below what type of videos you'd like me to make in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one.